that clothes going down a bit? Um, I think it's alright to be said. I think you're okay. Maybe is it a little close? If you just sit back and you see it, remember, it should be your fleshy part on top. You shouldn't have to bend your arms to get to it. So, what do you think? Like that part. That part, not too bad. I think, I think you're it. okay. Can you see all the dials? All the dials? Yeah. What do you mean, like these? Can't. Oh, yeah. Bit of, I can't see the free. It's only because it's twisted yeah, a little bit, though, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. All good. Uh, so, do you think it needs adjusting at all? No. No. Um, right. What did we get up to last time? Driving around. I was pointing out the windscreen a little bit and yeah. saying one thing. What was I saying? There. Not there. Yeah, good. Um, definitely your best lesson last time. So, no problems. Things have taken a little move on. Um, rightly so as well. You've done well the last few weeks. So, great stuff. You did say last lesson that you would like to do a little bit of new ring again. Yeah. Just a look with that. Yeah. Yeah. Drive there for a bit. Drive then. there. Do some manoeuvring. Drive and maybe home. Drive home. Yeah. All right. That all sounds good. We've got no issues with that. I think it's about time we did. Would you like any um, help reminding you um, of Ford Bay Park when we get there? Yeah. I mean, I know what I'm doing, but it's just a few little points. Yeah. I need to be more steady above my feet. Okay. I think steady is not the right word I'm looking for, but I need to be more precise. Yeah, and um, we'll talk a little bit when we get there if we need to, but having your heel on the floor with your clutch control is key to doing that. I think sometimes you, people, not just you, but people generally move the whole leg up to move That's the clutch. That's definitely a me thing. That's definitely a you thing. So um, we'll try and remind you just to have your heel on the floor and balance it with your ankle a little more. Um, air conditioning's on. And going, you're all set up. Are all your mirrors as good as they can be? Yep. I think so. Mm -hmm. Okay, come on, let's drive. Let's work. Let's go and try and find somewhere where we can uh, do a little bit of uh, manoeuvring. All good. Remember, not there. That's it. Good. You're onto it today. I can honestly say that's the first time you haven't stared at. Uh, Black car. Good. So now we see it's okay going around this corner. Cool. Is that something I still have to remind you of a little bit? Progress yes. using that right foot. That's it. Good. Use that right foot a little bit more. We'll take the next left as well, please. Oh. Right. You can either use your sun visor or close your eyes, whatever you think is best. Close my eyes. Close your eyes is good. I did have someone say to me, once I let you concentrate in this corner, then I'll tell you. That's really, really bad. I'll do that sun visor in a minute. Is there anyone coming? No. Sit back in your seat. Pull this down. Is that better? Yeah. Okay, cool. Well done. That's it. Yeah, I did have someone say to me once, well, if I close my eyes, Ash, I will I see. <laughs> 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 anyway, yeah, you weren't quite on your correct side of the road, all right? So every okay. single time I say to you about that corner, yeah. that's why, because in, case of, yeah. in case someone comes round, people always think the front's pointing that way and then steer that way too soon, yeah? All right, good. We'll turn right, please, at the top. Do I need to tell anyone? Yeah. Do that first, remember mirror, signal manoeuvre. Always look first. That's excellent control though. What are you going to do about the car that's Wait. coming? Make sure they turn before we go. Good, good extra look. Keep looking as we're doing it. Keep looking as you're doing it. Keep looking as you're doing it. That's very good. Excellent work. Nice job. Well done straight to your foot as well, great, great work. 
I like the way they've uh, redone all the markings on this road, but left the potholes. Poor <laughs> work though, isn't it, really? Typical. Straight, please, Aaron. What should we do with this one then? Wait. Very good for holding that far back, because it was obvious she was going to cut the corner. That was excellent. Very good. Can you see far yet? Well done, Aaron. Oh but you moved in second, that's why we were struggling a little bit. Okay, sorry. But you never have to say sorry, remember. But your clutch control was good enough that it still did it okay. Don't forget your you gears on the approach. Yes. Yeah, don't forget your gears coming in. All right, pretty good job, well done. Just ahead, please. Straight on. Is it shareable? Yes. Just try not to stare at it then, because you, you you were literally just staring at the white one where the section of the road that we're going to use is totally clear. Yeah? Why is it important to look? In case of emergency vehicles. Brill. So my first ghost down here, not joking either, you know. Don't believe in ghosts, but I saw a ghost. It walked, something walked across from this side of the bridge. How much have you had to drink? Nothing. It's when we, we used to live in this estate here on the right years ago, the first house, and it walked across here, disappeared into the um, railings. Sure it did. I'm sure, sure it did. It I'm did. sure it did. That's how he gets. I'm not. Hands up, swear, have got no idea what it was. Don't believe in ghosts, don't believe in anything like that, to be honest. I don't, I don't know what it was. Strange. Anyway, at the end of the road, we will turn left, please. This left. Well done. How sharp is it? What speed and what gear are you going to need to do this? Okay. Are you getting your steering done left? Go on, get all of the steering done left. All of it. Okay, well done. You still do prioritise looking at the cars a little bit, but it, it's improving loads, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah? Well done, good. Nice job. Never feel pressured with people breaking the speed limit up behind to catch you up. You emerged safely. You have to make sure you don't do it causing any danger or any, uh, any issues, but if you emerge safely and then someone catches you up breaking the speed limit, don't worry. Yeah? It's all good. Now our windscreen is a little bit mucky. I'll give it a little white before, but I've done a terrible job. I'm going to get you to wash the window. Do you know how to do it? Button? It's actually not, no. It's on that stalk, but you pull and hold towards yourself. Good. Let go now. That's it. Fine. Perfect. Concentrate on what we're doing, just ignore the wipers, let them do their job. Good. At these traffic lights, we'll do a right turn, please. Try not to grip with the wheel, though, Aaron. I did, went into that. Yeah. No, that's okay, that braking's loads better. We worked on that a fair bit last time, didn't we? We good. Nice little start again. Very good. I agree. Gap in the traffic. Perfect. Now, do you notice all the drips going down the window? Yeah. If you ever need to wipe it once, just nudge it either down a nudge or up a nudge. There you go. Okay. Up turns it on all onto automatic. Um, but down just wipes it once, so if you've ever got any remnants of the wash and you would like to get rid of it because it's affecting vision, you should do really. And clean windscreen is key, um, you know how to do that as well. So remember that washing the windscreen because that's actually one of the um, maintenance questions that you may get asked to do on your test as well. Show me how to wash the front window. Just get out of the car and start washing it. Yes, that would be good. Yeah. Ah, now the lights have gone green. Well done, well watched. Oh, they're red now. You know what's happening. 
And just remember which paddle gets you going. Yeah? Middle one, isn't it? <laughs> so, he today, Aaron. What's going on? Uh, people <laughs> today. Tell you. Funny. Not where instinct makes you look. Good. And then what should we be doing now? Wicked. Well done. Good. Very nice job. Good. Oh, God. Well done. Keep out, Erin. You were just looking at the uh, floor a little there, weren't you? Yeah? Try and scan the road marks from a big distance back so you've got a, an understanding of what lane to be in before you get there, not when you get there. Hmm? Don't no rush, but then which pedal gets you going? Do it then. That's better. Well done. Next set of lights turn right, Aaron. Going into the thingy. Next set of lights turn right. Shouldn't really have slowed though. Keep going and get out of the way in the slip road. How much is oncoming? I can go now. Very good. Nice job. We're going to take the next left, please. Not where instinct takes you. Round. Good. We're going to take the second right here, but just here. Not here. Okay. The next one just now. Oh. Breaks the key, not the gears. And you notice how quickly you run out of sort of time yeah. to do it then, don't you? But you did rescue it well, well done. We're going to take the final road on the left before the end. Okay. Oh, this is steep, isn't it? Therefore, go slower. How do you go slower than we are? I don't know. Press the clutch. Yes, you do. Oh. Now creep, not where your instincts take No, try not to stay yet. No, no. Look left and wait, wait until you pass these lines before steering. You're still looking there. You shouldn't be. You should be looking here, Erin. Erin, round that side. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Good. We're going to position to the left. Take your time. Get close to these lines on the left. Treat these lines as a curve and then get close, straight, Keep rolling till you've finished your steer. Are we going towards one side or the other, or are we straight? Keep rolling, keep rolling, until you're happy that you've finished your steer. I'm happy. Done. Well done, secure it all up. Relax, you can definitely leave the car on so the air conditioning keeps mm -hmm. going. Pretty good, well done. Any little bits from that? Just that bit. Just that bit. What was instinct? telling you to do at that sharp corner? Not what I should have done. Okay, I think we've covered it plenty of times before, so I'm not going to harp on about it either, Aaron, to be honest. The, the sharper the corner, remember, the more you need to look Yeah. this way, don't you? Yeah. yeah, so you look this side and wait till you round something out of this window, mm -hmm. the mirror around it before you turn. And that's literally Identical to what we're going to try and do. Um, should we make it uh, easy for the first bit, or do you feel as though you could go into one of these bays on the right towards this flower bed and curve? Can we go easier than progress the difficulty? Of course we can. Now, what we will do then, um, we're going to move to a portion of the car park where there are less obstructions then, um, which is two or three over. Straight across the car park, yeah. Um, you, you, know, <laughs> you know what, Erin? If you wish and no one's around, there's no issues, all right? But if we're trying to create space for us to then park in forward to the right, you're probably better off going around the outside and then you've got a little bit more space to choose. Okay. All right? So, go on, go down to the end, turn left. I, don't, then, I don't need to indicate, do I? There's no hazards around Have a check, me. no, exactly. It's affecting no one. 
Now, this is similar to what we've just done. Slow it down. In fact, just stop for a moment. We're trying to get around this kerb. Yes. And you're going to see this kerb underneath your mirror, here to the left, and then start turning. Okay. Don't turn until you get to that point. Okay. I'm a little check before we move though. Stop. Just because someone could be about, couldn't they? Yes. I gab for a few moments. So stay lovely and straight and be looking right and left. We don't need that bonnet now. It's not needed, remember. Where's that car in that? I can see a reflection of a car. It's I... ours. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh. You legend. You're still looking at it. You don't need to look at it down here, Erin. You need to look right and left as we're coming up. And go slow. Keep rolling. And we're not turning until you see it down here. When do you see this kerb here? Yeah. Do you see the kerb? Yeah. Stop second. Stop. Stop. Keep the clutch down. Do you see the kerb roadside, the further one, underneath your mirror, or this side? This side. That's not the one you're turning around. Okay. So you need to go further until you see it here okay but look both ways and not forward go against what your instinct says when do you see it here no. now turn then now turn this one this one round next to this good look at the good spot you came into good keep your hands sliding <laughs> and we're going to take this next road on the left now do we need to tell anyone no do you see the end of the, uh, the the flower bed? Yeah. So again, we're going to do exactly the same. Look here, not there, Erin. Not there any longer. When do you see the end of the flower bed or the end of the bays from there? You stay around it then and keep looking here. Not there. Very good. Now slow. We're next to this side brilliantly. Keep here. Keep moving and just get straight and finish your steer. We're done. Good, secure it up. Your handbrake's on. Sorry. Always stop with your foot though. Okay. When you press your brake to stop when you're at clutch control, what should you also do with your left foot? Pardon? When you stop with your foot brake, when you're at clutch control, put the clutch, all the way down. Put the clutch yeah. down. Because you pressed your brake, kept the clutch where it was, then, yeah. took your foot, or put the handbrake on, took then your foot off the brake, and then it released the handbrake, yeah. didn't it? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. What have you just learned in the last two or three minutes? That you really don't need to look that way. <laughs> that you really don't. I like that extra added word. It's just against instinct, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Is that why? Kind of see why car parks are five miles an hour now because you need to go that slow around corners. Um, honestly, no. The speed limit doesn't tell you the speed limit to go around the corner. The corner you probably should be going slower. Okay. That was way slower than five miles an hour. But the sooner you actually look to the left-hand side, the quicker then you'll work out your steering mm -hmm. and what to do. Yeah. However, I think that was a little bit of a light bulb. Those last few little corners compared to the first one and those last two. Yeah. Well done. Um, we've done it before though. Now you have to trust yourself to do it. Do you need a set of glasses? No, I've Some got, glasses. I've got um, like an eyelash stuck in my eye. Have you? Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Just cry a bit. Uh, <laughs> I've done that enough to do it at work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sound. Um, what we're gonna do is head into one of these bays on the right hand side. Okay. okay. What we've just talked about, I saw the screwed up face. Oh, it's because the sun's in. Ah, right, okay, so it wasn't for the manoeuvre, it was just for the sun. Yeah. That's okay, stop moaning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Um, can you think on what we've just done with those sharp corners? Mm-hmm. So and does then... that kind of line up with the car parking space? Okay, so would it be, so say I'm going into that one right there. Yeah. Would it be this mirror lined up with that line, or it would be that line, but not that line? You go around what your turn, or what you see underneath your mirror, you go around. So for this one, I would be too far already because the line's underneath. It's way underneath. However, you are about where you could be to steer full lock and do it. But so you could get it to here, 
steer full lock and it would still go round about in that bay. So sitting normally, do you see that line that you've just talked about on your window somewhere? Remember yeah, where it's like here. about there? That's probably it is a little far. However, it wouldn't be a million miles off from where you see it. Maybe just a little sooner would then get you into that bay. Okay. So we're not going to go at this one because we've just sort of sat here planted at it. I'd like you to drive forward. Stop and then, that one. No, I, I actually don't want you to stop, Erin. There's no real need to stop there. Just control it with my foot and then go into it. Yes. Yes. And then just move your hands if it's clear, which it's pretty clear still, isn't it? Yeah? yeah. Okay, super. Um, should we get working? Mm -hmm. Okay, have a little go. Get prepped before you look. We're good. Excellent. So remember that heel on the floor that we've mentioned. Small movements of the clutch. Down a bit. Good. Creep. Small movements as you can. Small movements as you can with your ankle now, not your leg. You move your leg. Stop second. Break and stop. You're moving your whole leg to control a little bit. Slide your heel across the floor when you get to the bite. Hold it there and keep your heel on the floor and then just use your ankle to control a little more. Have some more input with your ankle to keep it there where you need to be approximately because we're on slope handbrake needs to be on right foot can now swap again another check around Aaron try and just drag slowly your heel across the floor until it moves drag 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 there down a bit but not too much you push it too much smaller push with your not your leg when you push it down squeeze your ankle not your leg Stop a second, put your handbrake on, take it out of gear. You're doing this with your whole leg. Yes. You want me to do it my ankle? No. I want you to lift up with your leg. And then when it gets to the bite. When it gets to the bite, just to touch at the bite, your heel then rests on the floor and then it's a little bit more ankle work. Okay. It might help you not to have your foot so dead straight with it. Okay. People always have problems with that and that's why the knee hurts and the ankle aches. Relax your feet. Your feet, remember, should be there. So that's your foot rest to the left side. You bring it back to the clutch. Mm -hmm. That's your right foot over towards the gas. You bring it back to the brake. Make sense? Mm -hmm clutch down, put it into first, and then, well done, okay. uh, have another little go, down a tiny little bit, so pressure not a lick, but you, rather than pressing the brake to stop it rolling, you need to control it with a clutch to stop it rolling, okay. it's only because you're pressing the clutch down too much that it's then rolling back some, okay. put your handbrake on again, so when you press the clutch down a little bit, only do it a pressure rather than a push. Okay. Yeah? Well done. Good. Just practice with it. Small bits, small bits. Play with it. Have a little go. It's too much. It's too much. Small bit, smaller than that. Smaller than that even. Better. Little bits. It's too much still. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. Now, can you control that and just steer around that line and go into that bay? You need to control your foot also, Erin, and your hands. Keep sliding your hands if needed. Now, do you think you're going towards your line or away from it, or just round it? Slow. Right. Now, where do you look to do your straightening? Go slower. Go slow as you can. See where that van's parked up in the distance? Yeah. Try and look up there to do your straightening. A little bit, yes, it does need to do that. Try and look at the van and glance at your lines to see their positions. We still need to head which way. Stop. Yes, your way. Yes, your way. Yes, good. Well done. And we've still got a point at the van now. We're not pointing at the van. Straighten your hands. Good, 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 good. Is the line underneath your mirror at the front? No. So you didn't need to jump for that brake. You have to trust your clutch control. You should be looking underneath your mirror, Aaron. Are we past the end of that bay? Stop. Okay, clutch down fully. Cool, secure your car up. That was a pretty good effort, take it out of gear. 
we're too far forward. Okay. That's because you um, were too, looking yeah. that way for too long. You have to look that way and glance to see where you are. You've got to see how far forward you are by the line underneath your mirrors. And you've got to be looking at where that van is parked on that driveway to check out our movement one way or the other. We're not straight. We're pretty good. Are we? Yeah, not bad, but you have to then, you know that term I use, finish your steering? Yeah. That's what you've got to do soon as you're coming in. Okay. All right, and it was pretty good. Bigger steering movement and slower car allows your car to get in and straight sooner. But you tend to go the other way. You tend to hold your steering wheel and then go faster with your car. If you really want to manoeuvre, you go as slow as you can and you steer quickly and a lot. And that's what you've got to try and get used to. However, it was a pretty good attempt. Um, what I'd like you to do is just unlock the door and on, your, on your door. Do you see the unlock button? Yeah, yeah give that a press. We're nicely in my side. Have a look at yours. I reckon We're... the bum's sticking out a bit, but we're still in the line. I totally agree. What do you mean the bum sticking out? Like it's going like, it's not sticking out, but it's uh, like a... Stop it. That frame of mind is totally irrelevant. What do you mean? You're in the bay. Okay, so it doesn't matter. Okay you're in the bay. What's worse, rather than a little bit of crookedness, is overshooting. How far over are we, would you say? A foot, 18 inches at max, that much. Okay. Is that because I reckon I was, I was leaning up to that there? No, I think you just carried on while you were looking there and there wasn't enough attention to that. Okay. So you've got to try and do both. You've got to try and multitask a little more okay. with both of those things. Okay. Okay, yep. so that crookedness is honestly irrelevant. Okay. We're trying to be as straight as we can, but we're trying to finish in between the lines. That's key. We can't go beyond it, and we can't be stuck out with the bum in the road section. Mm -hmm. Okay, but this way or that way, as long as we do finish in between the lines, it is okay. That was a pretty good job. How was your clutch control there? I want to improve it. Okay, it's not the easiest because there's a little bit of slope there, but it was a little it's bit better, wasn't yeah. it? You're sort of getting what I'm talking about, about smaller movements. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it is. Would you say it's a pressure rather than a movement? Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing there? Pulling your hair I have out? like a knot in my hair. Did you? Yeah. That's how I ended up like this, you know? <laughs> That was really good, joking apart. Or I wasn't joking, I did, no, it didn't pull me out. Um, we're gonna have a little go at reversing out. Okay. Um, we've gotta try and remember that we've got to reverse out as if there would be a car okay. either side. Okay. Right, silly question. I can put it, though, I'm not gonna ask a question. So go on. I was gonna say, do I need to put it into first to put it in reverse? No, but obviously you don't, no. because we're not moving no, we're going straight to reverse, okay. Do you remember the um, 15 minutes worth of steer that I try and get you to do to reverse out? Pardon? Do you remember the 15 minutes worth of steer I try and get you to do to reverse out? We're nearly there now, to be honest. Look at your steering wheel. Yeah. It should be when we finish, straight. But all we're going to do to reverse out is turn the steering wheel so these two side parts where you normally hold are top and bottom. Okay. And you look very confused. So just... Imagine a clock face. Yeah. Point at this where is 12. 12. So where, if you turned 12, 15 minutes, where would that 12 be? Right now? Yeah. Like... No. It basically, so this is there. Yeah. And this is there. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, you've got it. 12 would be at the three o'clock position, wouldn't yeah. it? If you've got that 15 minutes. Yeah. 90 degrees, but... Give or take. I just think the clock's a little bit simpler, but do you understand where we're coming from with that? Yeah, you want to move it round. When do we do that 15 minutes of steer until? I don't know. Until we're out of the bay. Okay. How do you know you're going to be out of the bay? Because of the mirrors and then we steer the full lock the rest of the way. So if we 
and 15 minutes that way we then once we're out of the bay continue with the rest of it continue clockwise the same way you've turned okay all right so if we were going to reverse bum over there you'd go you'd turn that, that way, way. Oh, yeah, that and then sense. steer the rest of it so if i was going to go if i say we want to come to reverse and go down that way i'd want this bit to be up here i don't look at your wheel but yes but just remember i'm i'm unsure the reason why i'm explaining it i'm unsure that when you're asking that you're looking forward you said if you want to go down there, are you talking about... So I want to reverse out that way and then go down there. You, which way do you want to go first then? That, that way, way yeah. So you steer. That way. No, that's what I was getting at. Okay. I sussed you without even just looking at what you were actually watching. Yeah. No, it's simpler than that. You steer in the direction you want the car to go. Okay. So if you were reversing and you want to go over here, you steer. That way. That way. Yeah, but so. you look, but you look forward and you look at the wheel. It's simpler than that, Erin. Just look that where way. you want to go and steer that way. And steer that way. Okay, so if I want to go that way, I steer that way. Excellent. It's that simple. <laughs> okay. All right. Super. Um, now there's a little um, key there for all the, the people, uh, trainee driving instructors who watch your lessons as well, Erin. There's a big, big key to finding out what pupils are thinking and what they're doing wrong by really watching them closely and listening to them because whilst you were explaining that like I said you were looking forward okay and i could tell your confusion i knew you hadn't got it in your own head even for you <laughs> and that's key so very good we're gonna have a little go i don't mind which way you reverse your bum out which way would you like to reverse the bum out What's your preference Shall we go that way? Reverse bum out that way then. Okay. Bum out that way and go down there. Sound. Go for it. Is that it? Or do we put it up? There so. you go. And you always know it's on by yes. this. So what way did I say I was going? <laughs> you you tell me. Um, I want to go that way, don't I? So you steer? That way. That's it. Sound. Okay. So before we go. Double check. There's uh -huh. no one around us. Super. There is nobody around us. Good. Let's stop and try and look behind us this way, the way that we're going. Move your car slowly. Small movements and steer that 15. Go slower, stop, stop. It's too fast and you haven't steered, Erin. You just move your hands and hold. Okay. Look at your steering wheel. Okay. Where should that be if it's 15 minutes left? Where should 12 o'clock be? Why are you pointing forward? No, I mean like this should be here. Right, okay, super, good. I know what you mean, but think of that part, pull it down. So reach with this left hand, put it up the top, and you know now where 15 minutes is. Yeah. Get where I'm coming from. You don't even have to look at your wheel to do that. You've got it at the top of the wheel. All you do is just pull it to nine, don't you? Mm -hmm. Check before you go. Okay, let go of the brake. See whether it moves, it does. Pull it down to nine, left hand to nine, done. You know you're there. Control with the brake this time. It's a roll rather than the clutch control, but try not to stop. Okay. So let go of your brake first, it rolls, just control with the brake. Hover over it, use it if you need. When are you out of the bay? No. So steer the rest of it. Yes, you want to go that way, so move the car that way, good. Are you using brake and bite? Are you pressing the brake pedal? Yeah. Stop. Clutch down brake, stop. Not both feet. Okay. It's either clutch down, let go of the brake and it rolls, and you roll it back, or gas and a little bit of bite to move it back okay not brake and bite okay okay check around everywhere good yeah. let go of the brake first of all does it roll no. so gas and bite good and steer the rest of that full lock on tight all of it good well done now look over your right shoulder how close are we to those bays not very not very we are close steer the other way then no, no stop second stop i'm going to try and stop you doing this habit of turning round and looking forward to turn okay we were going which direction that way see you can you got confused again and it's only because you look forward okay we were heading over here now we don't want to head that way yeah, so we okay. steer that way that's it erin that's okay. all you do check around the car again yes. cool look over your right shoulder Move your car slowly and move your hands that way that you're looking, not forward. How close to the bays at the back are you going, Erin? 
Are we close to them? Yeah. So don't steer anymore and don't move anymore. Okay. Oops in reverse. Yes. <laughs> Stop, Erin. Put your handbrake on. Oh, God. And take it out of gear. Relax. Go on. Just assess. There's no one around. <laughs> it's completely oh, quiet, so I, there's no issue. I issues. thought we were going to start going that way, even though I hadn't moved it from reverse gear. I know, because you were looking forward. Okay. You weren't looking which way you were going. <laughs> You have to look the direction you're going. Mm -hmm. We never ever reverse forward. No, we don't. You reverse backwards, so you look backwards. Mm -hmm. Didn't I tell you a story of the other week about nearly running Liz's mum over? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Sound. Does that make sense yeah, to you? Yeah, it does. Yeah? It does. Okay. Have a look at the bays at the back of us oh, over yeah. your right shoulder and down there. Try and get a fix on them. Try and see where you see the start of the bays because where you see the start of the bays that's exactly how close you can get. Is it in the corner of your window just down there? No. Whereabouts is it then? It's in, it is it above the corner? The, what line are you on about? The start of the bays. The start? Like yes. these ones down there? Yes. Where, yeah. do you, where does that? If, that? if you drew a line across all of the front of those bays where would it come to? Oh, the corner. Yeah. Which is exactly what I just said, that side. Yeah. That's how you can tell where you are with them. So you've got to remember that now. You've uh -huh. got to remember how close you can get to them at the back. So you know how close forward you can get underneath your mirror. mirror. And the back is when And the back is when it's just in the corner down there. Okay. And that's as close as you can ever get. Have a look at it on the screen. We're like up to them yeah but not in them in them or on them okay makes yeah. sense but you're not going to have that on every single car so therefore we teach you how to do it in any yes makes sense yes now remember it's not there it's round yeah it, do you see the central line of the road yeah that's what we're trying to go round and next to and if we do that successfully will we go anywhere near them no there's your answer then Okay. And what we're going to do, we're going to go out of here and then turn right and then turn right again and have another go on one of those bays behind us okay. in a minute. All right, over to you. Get prepped before you look. Now do your checks. And reach up the top with your right hand. There you go. Don't push up with this one. No, that's not pushing up. It's just the right one pulling down. Good. Work your steering. Both of them, Erin, up and down. Slide them round. Keep your hands sliding. Are we done round the white line? Are we? Yeah, we're good, aren't we? Take your time. Get straight. Lovely and straight first. Straight first, straight. Then, put a right signal on. There's a car over there. Keep moving. And when do you do the turn? Not yet. No. No, not yet. Look to your right. When, no. are, you when are you around the central line of the new road? Not yet. No. Look there. Send no. Yes, good. When are you going around the centre line? There. You're done. Better. And we're going to straighten up to our side of the road. Look up where the hedges are. And we're going to go this next road again. So get straight first of all. Straighten your car. Straighten your wheels. Straighten your wheels. Now reapply your signal. You know it's going to stay on. Keep moving. Don't turn yet. You're looking forward. Where should you turn? Sit normally. Do your turn, round the white line, round the white line. Now where do your eyes go? Up to the top, go slower. Nice job, keep moving. Stops a little second, clutch down fully. Relax. No difference with the rights than the lefts, is there? Absolutely none. Apart from you don't look at the you look at the roads and that's usually what you do going around left turns you go around the curb and going around right turns you go, go around, around the, the white markings. line <laughs> yes superb is that just a little light bulb moment for you, do you think yes i agree um okay how much of this do you feel as though you can do should we just give it a go would you like what type of help with it do you I don't I know, shall I, shall I just see how you, you go with it and see what you need or yeah. is there any particular part of this that you feel as though... I think it's just my clutch control that I'm just not 
getting the foot rather than the leg, the ankle rather than the leg. Try, try. Which one of these bays would be good to go in? Um, maybe a bit further up a little bit, so not on a hill, so it doesn't keep rolling down. No, I think that's a bit of a cop out, sorry. I think you should have a go here. <laughs> it's actually all on a hill all the way up to the end, so <laughs> tough, you, you've got no choice. Um, but that's a little bit of cop out. Have a go, we're in a quiet car park. I've got dual controls. I can help you. All right. There's no big issue if we roll back. All right, but try and do a little bit better job with your clutch control. And which one of the bays on the right are you gonna pick, do you think? Which would be lower risk? That one? No, the one of next to it because it's not got that pole and Very it's not got the tree. tree. That's a good idea, go on then, we'll go for that one. Small movement. Relax as you can. that line aren't we? What do you think? How's it going? Go as slow as you need to now. Where should you be trying to straighten up to? Go slow as you need to. Dip the clutch down of pressure if you need to. How do you know you're in between those two lines? Not in your mirrors now, no. When, stop second Aaron. You, you've done very well but it was just that little bit that I just wanted to um, just correct you on. You're looking in your mirrors when you're going forwards forward, so if I'm straight well, well hang on a minute you're looking behind us to see whether we're straight going forwards pardon you're looking in your mirror yeah when we're going forwards so if I'm that's going just that like path. you wanting to look forwards when we're going backwards yes don't look where we've been look, look where, where you would going. like to point yes which is there. up in the windscreen yes these two markings here Yes. The lines that we're trying to get into, not the ones further up that we parked into last time. These two here are very, very similar to the curb. If you were parking next to the curb on the left, the one on the left would be in the middle. Now the line to the left of this is not in the middle of the windscreen yet, is it? Therefore you still have some more to go mm -hmm. round to that right. And the line on the right hand side, you remember this uh, binnacle? Yes. If you're close to the curb on the right, it should be not this side, don't want to lean across too much, but over here somewhere, it's not there yet. It's over that side more. Mm -hmm. So you've still got a but fair bit to go around. around. Yeah. So that's what you should be looking at to try and get in between the lines and then straighten quickly and then underneath your mirror for your distance forward. Yeah. Put your handbrake on because we're on a hill and do a little check around everywhere before we go. Yes. Super slow. Move your car and see what it's doing, because it might be going that way. Anyway, it is. Is that getting better? Is it going to come round enough? Is it going to get there? Have you got still space underneath your mirror with the line at the front? Yes, you've got a little bit of room. Keep looking at the van as well and straighten your hands. Finish the steer fully. Finish it fully. Look up at the van and move your car slowly. We're heading that way. Fix it. Fix it. Fix it. Fix. Done. Keep moving. Trust it. Underneath your mirror. Keep going until it's underneath. Quick little break, clutch down. Mm -hmm. That was better. I said to trust myself that there was more steer. I know I went wrong on that one. You have to, don't you? Mm -hmm. So what I said last time, how you really manoeuvre is to go extra slow and, more and move your hands. Yeah. Can I just check? Of course. How do you know? Would you like me to check? Yeah. Pretty good, there's about a foot gap. There's, I know, I'm closer to this side. However, are you in again? Yes, therefore I'm okay. Are we over the line at the front this time? No. Therefore, that was good. Well done. Should we have one more reverse out? Yeah. Okay. No. <laughs> Which way are you going to get your bum going? Should we go that way this time? If you wish. Have you noticed this mirror has gone on the floor? Yeah, why? Do you remember? No. When you select reverse in this car, if your mirror switch is switched to where it is now, 
it goes down when you select reverse. Switch your mirror switch across to the other side and watch it. For some reason, some car manufacturers think that it's more helpful to see the floor. Switch that switch across the other side again and it goes back down again. Leave it. How to know what way I'm going there? What do you mean? Yeah, why doesn't this one go to the floor? Because that's usually curbside. Okay. However, you tell me, when it goes on the floor... I can just see the floor. Could you see anyone coming in the distance? No. So what's your honest thoughts on the functionality of that? I don't like that. It's rubbish. I've never noticed that either. I think it's, it's rubbish. Bad. So switch it the other side again. Could you still see now someone coming in the distance? Yeah. And can you still see where you would be with a kerb or a line that side? Yeah. Yes. Let's have a little go at reversing the other way. Don't go yet. Stop. Haven't checked. Have to. I know it's sort of like a deserted car park, but we only know it's deserted when we check. Yes. Which way are you going to put your 15 on? Which way do you want the gun in? You now control and roll. Use your brake, but don't stop it. Don't stop it. Don't stop it. Clutch down and use your brake again, but don't stop it. And when you're out, you've stopped it. Try not to stop it. Let it roll. I'm when you're out, let's do the rest of it then. You get confused because you look forward. Okay. Look where you're going and nod at your wheel. Move your car, Aaron. Not brake and bite. Let go of the brake first. Full lock on, good. Now, stop second, because I don't think you're thinking on where you need to look now. That way? No, it's not where the front goes. Okay, it's where I'm going. Which is, we're reversing backwards. I need to, that way. Which wheel is closest to any potentially cars sitting in a bay behind us then? No, because you're looking forward, Erin. I don't know, that one? Yes. Yes. Where do you need to look then? That one. Excellent. But not in your mirror. Actually, back there. And this side to see how far to the lines we need to get. Check around again before we go. Good, well done. Which foot happens first off that? A little bit of gas, a little bit of bite. And again, we're going to get close to these and then try and do a lot of steering. I reckon now. Steer a lot. You've got a little bit more to go. Keep looking here. Keep looking here and keep rolling. Keep moving your hands. You're not moving them, Erin. You're not moving them. Now stop. You just hold. Okay. You have to move your hands, mm -hmm. else it's not gonna steer. <laughs> Put your handbrake on. Good, take it out of gear. Good. We're quite sharply angled, but we're not in this bay. You can just actually see the front of it there, can't you? Although we're pretty close to it. So where you see these lines now, where are they? What point on my window? They're not on the corner, are They're they? Like near enough halfway. Near enough halfway. Which is so, too much. Uh, well, that's maximum. Okay. So before it gets to halfway is, is enough. Prime. Prime. Prime's a nice way of thinking about it. Okay, that was good. Do you understand what I was getting about which wheel is nearest yeah, to the problem? Yeah, yeah. It's this one, so we look this way. Yes. And if it was the other side, it would be? That way. That way. Mm -hmm. Pretty good though, well done. Now, before we leave, um, we're just about done, to be honest. We're gonna have to head yeah. back. However, um, is there any little bits before we go? I know we're in a strange spot to be talking about this, but no one's around, so it's irrelevant. Um, is there any other little bits that you'd like me to explain before we go, or do you think you've sort of like switched on to a yeah. few things there? Yeah, it needs a lot more practice, but we're getting A bit more there. practice, you're getting there. How do you think your clutch control's gone? It's improved. It's improved. Do you understand? It's more the, I think it's more the steering now. And, and yeah. which way to look and moving your hands. Yeah. Okay, but pretty good. Well done. Um, been pretty success we'll successful, that. that. Yeah. I um, need the toilet. <laughs> do you need a wait as well? That's okay, that's fine. Um, we're going to head out. Um, do you know where you are from here? Can you drive back to ours? Mm -hmm. Come on in. Well done. 
Where do you want to end up in the road? Move your hands more and quicker to get it there sooner. Yeah, well done. But go slow with your car if you've got more hands. Which side of the road should we be on, though, Aaron? Not this one. Not the right hand side, no. We are not driving on continental Europe. Then. Yes. You are driving a German car. Typical German fashion didn't use your indicators. No, I'm only joking, no one's around. <laughs> Couldn't resist that one. Do we need to signal here to anyone? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, just because I'm trying just to grab over the road. Yeah, and how do you know when your car's um, past this hedge? Because it's going to be my line. Where? There. Sit back. Here. It's too close. Because you were looking out the front windscreen rather than sitting back and looking that way. And did you notice it caused you to go a bit wider in the end? Yes. Right turn, please. Saying that, I told you you were doing it yourself, so shut up, Ashley. Don't tell. Not there. Good. Which way are you going at the lights? No signal yet, no. Finish. You steer, now signal. You have to learn that skill, Aaron. Yeah, you grab for the signals first thing. The signals are not the be all and end all. Go further forward, further. up to the stop line. Yeah. Definitely handbrake and then you swap your right foot over, then you can be quicker going, you've taken handbrake off again because your clutch has come up, Erin. Keep the clutch down. Taking a little while. Mm. I wonder why everyone's going into the race course. Lazy. I did see an HS um, van, or not van, lorry park there as we were coming in, Aaron, so they still could be doing some testing there. Not sure. Which pedal, Aaron? Come on. Good. Yes, we are allowed in that bus lane Monday to Friday, 7.30 to 9.30 a.m. Okay, so that's uh, a working bus lane in Liverpool, which is quite strange. Have you got any idea why that this is a working bus lane, but the one that used to be beyond these lights is now not? No. Okay, I'll tell you in a second what's going on with the lights. It might change. First gear get prepped then. Ah, look at you, eh? Know me stuff, don't I? Yeah, this used to be a bus lane here, but they've covered it over. And the difference is the different uh, uh, sort of like councils. This is now Liverpool Council, and they've been bagged all the bus lanes. And back there behind us was Sefton Council, or is Sefton Council, where they've still got bus lanes. Boring fact of the day, you're not interested at all in the slightest, are you? I didn't even hear what you said. <laughs> I'm not repeating that load of rubbish. Um, no, it's just, uh, just the important thing is, Aaron, look at the signs and see whether they're in operation or not that one said monday to friday 9 7 30 to 9 30 it's a bus lane so we're after that so we use it as normal what would you do if there were no times on the bus lane sign don't drive in it very good good answer that's more important than the uh, rubbish i was talking about i thought you were going to go because that curly went oh look at me go I could cyclists be catching us, Erin? In that mirror. Uh-huh. And how sharp is it? So no. where should you be doing the looking then? Yes, Erin. Yes, Erin. Yes. Good. 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 Nice little job. Oh, my God. Sorry. That's <laughs> a little noise for a little car. That's not really little, but you know what I mean. Just didn't work your feet, did you? If you breathe in, the bus will have more room. I think so too. Are you ready? Yeah. <coughs> so I need more than a breathe in. Oh my goodness. Did well. Try not to head over here with them though. Is it still shareable? Yeah. Okay, good. No 
at what speed? We've got more space now, so remember. You, it's a bit of a shame that, because you had more space, but then you just held again. Where you should have really got more space, and we'll use it. Yeah. Well done. Space from the blue one, like it. Don't break yet, it's a bit early. Come on, get us there. Get us there. Could you just do this one at idle in second and just yeah. literally just steer around that white line? No brake then? No brake. Steer. None. No pedals. None, 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 none. And then on we go with it. You press the brake, it held it back, and then it fights against you to get going. If you're comfortable at that idle speed, just go round in it. Leave it. If you want to go slower, press the clutch, press the brake, put it in first, or use a little bit of slow clutch, clutch control in second. Does that make sense? Yeah. Oh yeah? my goodness. Oh my goodness, I thought he was going to kill himself. Uh, it's okay. I was ready to let you do it. No, I'm only joking. I was ready to press the brake, and that's what you should be doing it as well. Yeah, I was just wasn't expecting to see that. No. Right foot needs to stay in a foot brake until yeah. you've got the handbrake on, then swap it. Well done. Nice job. Good. You got space? Have you got space in these? Yeah. Therefore, use it. It's lower risk over there, isn't it, with these? Yeah. What about now with the van and the parked one? Go to the middle. But then at a speed where you could still uh, stop. Don't inconvenience the cyclist as well. He's got as much right on the road as anyone. There you go, that's good. What are we going to do with that one? Yeah, try not to slow now though, Erin, because they'll think you're parking. You don't need to slow for this sharpness because it's straight. Make sense? You still have plenty of time to stop there if needed. Very good with that. Nice job. So, do you trust it just to go round in second? No. Yeah. Off everything. Don't press the brake unless we need to stop for someone. Do you now notice it doesn't fire off with you like it did before? Yeah. Get it? So if it's at idle and you press the brake, it slows more than it wants to go, and then when you let go of it, it fires away. What should we do with this? Get braking, Aaron. Get braking. But you didn't press the clutch. We're just talking about the same thing. <laughs> yeah? It can't go slower than idle, can it? Yeah. Therefore, if you're at idle and you press the brake, you press the clutch as well. So press the clutch now. Good. Now off the brake. Now gas and bite. Look he at where you want to go. Sorry, he wasn't in my class. He soon won't be. <laughs> <laughs> you carry on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good. Oh well done. God. Our side of the road. And again, slow than idle. Clutch down. Put it in first because we're extra slow. Gas and bite. And where should we look to do the turn? Okay, still turned too early. You still didn't go far enough forward before you did the turn. All right, that instinct still to look that way a bit, but not bad at all today. That's pretty good. That's what your neighbour's behind me. Don't know, not sure. You can just head towards the, uh, the path. Good. 
So it will roll, cover your brake, we're at idle. Press the clutch, no brake, let it roll, control the roll with the brake, control it, control it, control it, stop. Nice job, secure it all up, out of gear, and relax, good. Any questions? No. What's your thoughts on the bay parking? It still needs a lot of practice, but I think, considering the first, remember the first time we did it? No, mm. I think I, just, I understand the concept more but I'm still just getting confused with the looking. Skill set has improved massively as well, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, with um, what you're now doing, um, the, the car control, the hands, the observations, everything's starting to just fit in and just come together. Um, what bits were you a little weak with, with that, do you think? With the bay parking? Yeah. I think more the steering than the just the direction the, or the direction I was going than the okay. clutch control clutch control you improve a lot with the clutch control within the hour within the hour I totally agree with that absolutely um, putting everything together is still uh, the work that we really need yeah. to do isn't it mm -hmm. I think singularly if we took each piece out you could do it putting them together is totally different but there's big improvement there um, multitasking is improving um, did you learn a fair bit today about sharp turns and how to get around them mm -hmm. that time I'll let you go no you need the loo um, that sharp turn where you press the brake in second and it then fired away with your after are you understanding that a little bit more now yeah but then we showed you how it could be done coming into the estate and then we had the other car and then you didn't press yeah. the clutch down. Yeah. So it's just listening for that idle speed. But honestly, well done today. Thank Cracker. you. Turn your car off, let you go to the loo.